Paint me like one of your French cats. Hey, Cook. Welcome back. We're the Burm Junkies. Today we review a bottle we've never seen with our own two eyes for sale anywhere before. <laughs> but thanks to our buddy Brandon who let us borrow this bottle, who we will return this to. We got like six of Brandon's bottles. There's so many of Brandon's bottles. It's Four Roses 135th. Let's get into it. All right. I do think he said I could drink out of these, didn't he? No. He said that. Nope. He said drink as much as you want. Mm. I don't think he said out of the bottle. Okay. Different. I not, thought he did. It's not ours. Am I close? I'm pretty, I'm closer than you thought I was. Quarter ounce. Four one. Roses 135th. Every, this is a pre, pre, it's not a prerequisite at all. This is a preface. Every Four Roses LE we've ever had, we have it liked. Phenomenal. I'm just gonna throw that out there at the very beginning of this video. Hey, while you're here, just like <laughs> and comment and subscribe just because we're friends and we're, you're our friend and we're your friend. And like, you, you would not subscribe to your friend's YouTube channel. It seems like you'd be an asshole. All right. Oh, it's like that though. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. you guys are still here, huh? Oh, it's like, oh, it's like whiskey of the year, that though. Yeah. Holy fuck. shit. We didn't have a Russell's Camp Nelson no. single rick. We didn't have this. Mm -hmm. And I know we haven't drank that. We are jumping the gun. Several guns. Some well, say. I tell you what, it smells phenomenal. It smells like it would have been a top oh. three. Oh my gosh. I it's, feel like I'm still smelling it. Can the smell have a long finish? You know what I mean? It's like an herbal peach tea. It is like if you stewed peaches and pears together in some form of simple syrup or it something. It smells thick. Four C's maybe? Possibly six. Buddy, that smells like an LE does. Does that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like LE's just smell like LE's and that smells like an LE. Holy shit. It smells better than the last like two or three for sure. And the last, I think two ago was really good. When you drink whiskey, there's like a nine minute pause. Gosh, dude. Um, when you just drink a whiskey that is that good, you just know. That is, you know. Are we the biggest Four Roses fans ever? Mm -mm. No, not at all. But somehow, every time they put an LE, it is one of our favorite things ever. You know what? Holy shit, huh? Yeah, 108 proof. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've been so taken advantage of in the most beautiful way in this moment. That's incredible. Congratulations to you, Brian Elliott. That is, oh, that is phenomenal. That is like everything you've ever wanted in your mouth at the same time. Mm. Oh, are we not in phrasing anymore? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, dude. Four um, Roses is phrasing my mouth, if you know uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, this is going to be... You know, we say this a lot when we review good bottles. It's going to be a short review. This is phenomenal. You guys know that. You don't need us to tell you that. What, you, what is it worth? I don't... $400. Yup. Yeah. I think secondary is probably that. Okay. That might be just worth That secondary. is... In late... I'm going to get the last couple months outside of WLW and E-Rare 17 or Double Eagle Very Rare. That's up there with the E-Rare 17. I'm putting this like... I think that's up there with that I do think that's up there. So far up there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've drank it once and I can still taste it. I don't even know how long it's been. Days? Months? Years? This feels like when we first had a couple of the Parker's Heritage stuff. I know it's a different distillery, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it, this feels like very experiential. Yeah. That you drink it and you're like, yeah. wow. It's also 108 proof. Wow. At probably, a, is it cast ring? It is. 108 cast strength. Yeah. Oh. I think they just oh. added water to their barrels. Um, I wonder how, there are 15,000 bottles and there's no age statement. That literally like, sits around forever. There's it's very like old a, whiskey in there. Uh, a really, really sweet wood spice that sits around for me. Yep. It's religious still taste experience. It. This is spiritual. This is a spiritual bottle of whiskey. <laughs> a very spiritual. Cut. Cut it's down. Spiritual, I'll never see this. And it's sensual. Goodness gracious, man, Brandon. Thank you for letting yours. us borrow that. Yeah. Um, man. Wow. If you guys are lucky enough to get one of these, um, like, th this is literally above, like, Al Young for me. I haven't, oh, this, yep. I um, haven't had, I haven't given it a taste of it. That's fucking crazy. I don't know if I've had a better Four Roses off the top of my mind. Um, 
was it the 130th that was like the last one really good that was phenomenal well no um, this is just another le they did five le's and since the 130th oh cool man um the 130th was very good yeah but this has all of all of the fruits and all of the honey that you would ever want with the depth and like texture and richness of really old whiskey so like the fruits I, I feel like often we find fruitiness, lighter fruits and brighter fruits on younger whiskeys, right? Mm -hmm. All of those are there. And I feel like we find honey in that young to middle age. And then all, like somehow it also is just buried with like age and oak and old vanilla from old wood and shit. It's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. It's spicy. Like oh, in the best way. It's so good. Um, I still get a lot of the the herbal side of the Four Roses mash bill. I think it's a hundred fifty dollar bottle. Oh man, the persistence of flavor on this is probably one of the best I've had this year, hands down. I, I don't know anything that's had a longer finish. That's actually like still tasting like the whiskey. There, we've had a bunch that are high proof and they just burn, or you get a lot of char, and you're like, all right, cool, cool finish. This feels like I'm still drinking the whiskey well after drinking the whiskey. It... I'm a bite cookie's tail. A plus. Yeah. What do you paint a bar? Uh, yeah, I guess that's how I get it. Um, 40. I had the exact same number, honestly. Yeah. I would pay 40 to bar. 40, for one ounce four, mm -hmm. won't even care. Um, I'd do it once. Yeah. I would do it 100%. once. 100%. And if I had got a bonus or a rate, like if something in my life happened and I wanted to celebrate, I'd do it twice. <laughs> I'd do it two times. I want that to be known. I mean, I don't know how many. You, I mean, I mean, this one says fifteen thousand. Yeah, that's how many. Well, he didn't get the last one. It's off. out of fifteen thousand, buddy. Oh, I was well, that, and then there's a slash, uh, and then fifteen. Fifteen thousand and sixty. Okay. Yep. I thought it, that was like a barrel number, or bottle. That, yeah, that would make I think you got seventeen seventy two out of fifteen thousand sixty. Yeah. I think. Brandon, Something thank like you that. for sharing that with us, for real. I mean, 15,000 is not that small of a release. The best thing is, if Sean, I mean, for an LE, it is George C. Sags 40,000. Think about that. Yeah, but Saz 18's like 1,800. Yeah, but then nobody even gives a shit about Saz 18. It's, that is a whole different topic as the wildest thing they keep doing that nobody fucking cares about. That's true. Saz 18. Yeah. It's just not the best ever. You know what be cool? Stop doing that. Just release it all as Handy, right? Cool. Ooh, but Handy's like Do six. Do a mash bill too. Yeah, give me my Elmer. Give Daddy an Elmer. Yeah. Barrel proof Elmer. Well, we really got sidetracked there. But anyways. Um, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, thank you, buddy. For this real. is phenomenal. Uh, that truly is special whiskey. This yeah. is that when we just did our list, like a small circle whiskey, like bring this out for a couple friends. That competes with the BTAC. There's not, oh, that competes 100%. with BTAC. That, that would have that would have probably been first to second place in whiskey of the year. Oh, easy. Well, so, somewhere with that Camp Nelson single rig from 23 but goodness gracious i feel bad for four roses because they put stuff out like this and then they gotta follow it up <laughs> you know <laughs> next year they gotta do it again like good luck guys good luck brent <laughs> <laughs>